Hey, this is Nate from Nate Studio Desk, and I made a video on Optimal Workflow in Rhino and really quickly went over blocks and didn't really go into much detail. The first thing to know about blocks is that it's similar to dynamic components in SketchUp for you SketchUp users, and it's and if for those of you who are AutoCAD users, uh, they are similar to blocks in AutoCAD. So you can use them in two main different ways. The first way is to use it within your project file. I'll just make a square. This is really just for demonstration sake. And to make it into a block, I'll hit, I'll just type in block. And it will say uh, base point. So I make a base point and I'll call this block one. Now, in order to have it work similar to dynamic components in SketchUp, you have to control C, control V, copy, paste the object. And now you'll notice um, if you change this object, it doesn't change that object immediately. What you have to do is you have to go into the edit function in order to activate it. So you have to double click the object. This is kind of annoying. You would think that just editing it would edit the other one, whatever. Um, so now when I edit it, I can make a lot of changes. And what's nice about this is if you're working in a big model, uh, you don't have to worry about selecting other objects. And so I'll change the shape of that. And then all of a sudden you'll change, um, every single one of those. So if I have a bunch of these objects and as soon as I change this one and I go ahead and I press okay, it changes each object. A similar thing that you can do um, is when you double click, you can also add an object to it. So you can add a person, um, press enter, and now that person has entered into the block definition and will be, now you have a bunch of people displayed over there. Okay, so the second way is to link from a separate file into the into another file. To do that, you can press file insert and we're going to let's do people test. Press open. I want to do linked and active linked and active so to access that root file all you have to do is double click and it will launch and open up the the root file the original file people test and now that's the root file and once I've edited that file so I don't want to do save as just do file save close it out doesn't really matter um, it will now update so you see that that person moved I recommend this technique if you want to reduce file size and it's also an additional way to keep your files clean and organized. Okay, to manage your blocks, you can type in block manager, and that will bring up all the blocks that you've created. And you can always update, if you press properties, update where that file is referencing to, so you could change the file. You could just have it as an embedded definition which just directly um, embeds the uh, file into it and is not linked or linked and embedded which gives you the ability to uh, make changes in the file but once you've relinked it will re-update the file you can also select here always update and uh, if you want to have that be a more fluid process you can do update or refresh uh, to reset all your blocks.